back. Hello and welcome back to another match day experience on the channel. This time we're at Vicarage Road, once again, home of Watford to see them take on Burnley tonight in the Friday night football in the Championship. So we drove to Vicarage Road as you can see in the background, but here's a quick reminder to please go over and follow me on Instagram. It's at the match day experience, the exact same as the YouTube channel. Anyway, we've got a nice view of the outside of Vicarage Road before making our way through the turnstiles. So we walk down the stairs to get this initial view of the stadium before heading up to some seats. So we're in the concourse, it's got to be one of the best ones I've ever seen. We've got coffee bars, we've got beer, food, everything. And a new centenary ale as well. This isn't mine, but it is tasty, it tastes good. All right, if you're an adult and you go to Watford, try it. So just that last time at Watford, we were sitting in front row and this was our actual view. We then saw some of the warm-ups. So the players are warming up at the minute. The score prediction, I'm going to say 2-1 Watford tonight. I'm feeling confident. Unfortunately, ahead of kickoff, the players decided to swap ends, which really annoys me for some reason. Then the lineups were announced once again, and it was time for kickoff. Not too many Burnley fans there tonight, but I'll be giving you my opinion on the away section at the end of the video. Tom Cleverley then whipped in a free kick, but unfortunately it came to nothing, and then Ismail Assar hit it over the bar. Is this the worst cross of the season already from Mario Gaspar? Let me know in the comments below. After a pretty boring first half, Watford had one more chance at the end as Ken Semmer pulled the ball back to Tom Cleverley. And that was it for the first half as Watford went in 1 0 up thanks to a goal from the captain, Tom Cleverley. Got a coffee at half time. Oh See what happens in the second half. Two sides quite even in the first half. Watford's goal was a little bit undeserved, but hopefully they'll get a good one in the second half. Watford started brightly in the second half as Ken Semmer gave the ball to Hassan Kamara, who put the ball in towards the back post. Fantastic support from Watford as always, but then Josh Brownhill had a chance for Burnley. There was then an injury and a quick substitution. Burnley then started to attack more and put Watford under some pressure. The ball then came right in front of us and Joao Pedro did some nice defending to put the ball out for a Burnley throw. Some nice football from Burnley in the second half as Josh Brownhill was to play the ball wide here. Vitinho then played a quick 1-2 with Jack Cork before Hassan Kamara came in with a great tackle. Burnley then put many crosses into the box to put pressure on Backman. Burnley were then in on goal and Hassan Kamara had to take one for the team. Kamara denied a definite goal scoring opportunity but here's Josh Brownhill with a free kick. Deep into added time, Burnley had another dangerous free kick, however this one was headed away. Vitinho then put one into the box, but it was met by Backman. Connor Roberts whipped the ball in and Backman produced save of the season. Nathan Teller then looked to get the ball into the box for Burnley. A game of pinball was then played in the box and then finally the ball was in Backman's arms. And that fantastic home support rounded off the match as it was full time. Watford won, Burnley nil, fully deserved three points. So Watford got the win, one nil. Not a bad game, fully deserved, but 
you know, three points is three points. We said a quick hello to the Sky Sports what? presenters, but now I'm going to leave you with something a little bit different. That's right, instead of doing rate the day because I've already been, we're going to be doing a bonus rate the day. So we still have atmosphere, but this time we have a way section, concourse, walk up music and would I return, but it's only based on the night. So then kicking off with the one category that does remain, it's the atmosphere. And as usual at Watford, it was brilliant. Eight out of 10, slightly worse than last time because it was the first game of the season. And I think there were more fans and they were just a little bit more up for it. However, eight out of 10. Next up, it's the away section and the fans get half of that big stand behind the goal, which isn't bad at all. 7.5 for me. Unfortunately, Burnley only took about half of what Sheffield United took. I'm pretty sure they sold it out. So poor show from Burnley, especially as they've just been in the Premier League. Moving on to the concourse, which is absolutely incredible. Now, the first time I went to Watford, I didn't actually realise that there was an upstairs concourse that you could get to. I've gone with a 9.5 out of 10 because there was a mini shop, a coffee bar, proper bars with beers, food, and it was very spacious as well. Not tight at all. Really impressed. Some brilliant warm-up music to get the fans going. And then, of course, the legendary Z car is so iconic. For me, it's a 10 out of 10 with the walkout music. First one of the series in the bonus rate of the day as well. So then the all-important one, would I return? But this time it's only based on the night. And I think you guys can probably work it out. Yes, of course I would. Absolutely, 100%. And I've also got Preston versus Watford away tickets. And I'm really looking forward to that. But as we make our way out the stadium, let's check out the league table. So guys, you would have noticed that there are some changes with the positions in the league table. And that's because I've now made the scoreboard rating out of five. So I've halved the previous ratings and then rounded downwards. And I've done this because you guys are right. The scoreboard is sort of important. However, it's not as important as the other three categories. I still want to rate it. However, it does affect the stadium score a little too much sometimes. So I think this idea is better. Let me know what you think in the comments. And that's it, we're not heading out of Watford, got my Brazil top on. Wasn't sure I'll enjoy the squad tonight, but who cares? Some clever league captain, birthday boy, got the goal. And a uh, nice win, so yeah, very happy for Watford. The beer was good apparently as well. Uh, atmosphere is brilliant as usual. Not quite as good as last time, but still very good. Well guys, before we end the video, please go over and follow me on Instagram. It's the Match Day Experience. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and I'll see you for Brighton versus Newcastle. Sorry it's late, the trains were awful coming back from Brighton v Newcastle, but it's up now, go and watch it.